Good morning, everybody. It's Mrs. Simpson. Happy Friday, and even more so, happy Friday before spring break. I cannot believe it is March 25th, and I cannot believe how fast all of this is going. Um, I wanted to say first, welcome to our first Social Emotional Learning Friday. And while I say the first, my hopes are that we can do this more um, during upcoming years, because I think it's a fabulous thing to do. We're going to have a lot of things today that allow all of us, adults and children alike, in the classrooms, outside if the weather permits, to be able to do some things that help us become our best selves, make our best choices, and get ourselves in a position that today when we walk away at 2.30 and we hop on those buses, or when we walk away at 2.30 and we're heading out of the building to go see our family because we have been here so much doing all the things that we do so great as educators, we're in a really fabulous place, walk out of the building, take a deep breath of fresh air, and are ready to go attack spring break with the best and most open way we've ever had. So I am super excited about this. Um, while we have different people in different classrooms today, I want to share some expectations for the day so we are all super successful, so we all can have the most fun of the day that we can make of it. So if you don't already have it, I'm going to take a pause for a minute, and each of your um, supervisors in the classroom have a little expectation sheet, and I want to make sure we go over it together so everybody is on the same page. So I'm going to pause for a second, and then we're going to have you get that in front of you, and then we'll talk about it together. Alrighty, so I would imagine that you have your expectation sheet right in front of you, and I love how we worded it. It says, expectations for myself today. We're going to worry about ourselves today and make sure that we're doing the best that we can, and when we do that, everybody else will see that, and like the domino effect, when we're doing the best we can, often other people see that, and then they can replicate that. And, and it will make it an easier day. And I'm going to laugh a little bit. Mrs. Simpson is very much aware. She has a sunflower right above her head. And I notice that um, probably many of you will notice that it does look a little funny right now, but I can't fix it right now. So let's talk about the first expectation. The biggest part of today is we're going to work together and we're going to synergize. And so we all know it says together is better and working with others is fun. Well, sometimes working with others is a challenge for people as just the world works, we're always going to have to work with people. And I shouldn't say have to. We're always going to get to work with people, and not always are the people that you work side by side going to agree with you. They're not always going to think the same way you do. And it's hard and challenging to get through that. But what I wrote there, what we talked about, I'm doing I am statements. I am just going to do the best I can to work together with others today. That's what I'm going to do. And so I want you to do the same thing. And so I'm going to say it one more time, and I'd like you to say it with me. I am doing my best to work together with others. And I'm pretty sure not all of you said it with me, so I'm going to say it one more time. Let's say it together. I am doing my best to work together with others. That's what I want everybody to do today. So then we're going to do habit two. We're going to practice that as well. Begin with the end in mind. Simply, I am thinking about the choices or how the choices I make affect the rest of my day. If Mrs. Simpson comes in today and I'm super crabby and I'm in a bad mood, it's going to affect the rest of my day. I'm not going to have any fun. I'm not going to want to laugh. I'm not going to want to enjoy my friends and my family here at, M M at MC. So I'm going to think about how the choices I make affect the rest of my day. I would love it if everybody was thinking about the choices that they make affecting others' days, but we're going to start with ourselves first. Then we're going to practice habit five. We're going to seek first to understand and then be understood. And what that means is I'm going to listen to other people's ideas, their feelings, and try to see things from their viewpoints. I think this has been super hard for a lot of people, adults and students alike, over the past couple of years. And for Mrs. Simpson, too. I'm not going to pretend it hasn't been hard for me, too. So let's say it all together. I am listening to other people's ideas and feelings and trying to see things from their viewpoints. And I want to explain something, too. When you try to see something from somebody else's viewpoint, or as Mrs. Kaltenbach reminded me one day, putting yourself in other people's shoes, it doesn't mean everybody has to walk away in agreement. It means we just have to try to understand what they're going through. So I'm going to have all of us take a look at practicing habit number five, and I want you to say it with me. I am listening to other people's ideas and feelings 
and trying to see things from their viewpoints. That's all I'm going to try to do. Okay. So now I hope you said that with me because on the next one, I'm going to have you repeat that as well. So we're going to move on to practicing habit number four, think win-win. And I think maybe today this could be like the, the best part of the day too. And I think if you do this one habit, even if you just did this one habit all day long, all the others fall in place. Um, and I think that every day, I may not be the best at doing that every day. I'd like to be, I try to be, but I make mistakes and I screw up every day. And I try to fix it or I try to apologize or I try to make it right. But I will screw up every day because I am a human being. But hopefully I can make things right and move on from there. So let's go back to habit four. I think it's almost the second to last from the bottom. Think win-win. If you only practice one of these today, this is the big one, okay? I am kind to others and can think about other people, not just myself. So everybody say this with me one more time. I know you didn't say it yet, but I want you to repeat it. I am kind to others and I can think about other people, not just myself. If you can do that today, that's the win-win, big time, okay? And last but not least, today is truly about sharpening the saw, okay? And what that means is I'm taking care of myself and I'm finding ways today to balance my time and become a better person. Um, and I want to be open to this. I want to be open to learning something new. And so while we talk about sharpening the saw and Mrs. Simpson would say, oh, you know, everybody relax this weekend, have a great weekend. Everybody is busy. You guys as students are super busy. You have amazing sports that you're in. You have family events that you do. You have family obligations. You have chores. You have so many things. You have homework. You have you have a million things, and I get that. Adults, you are taking care of families. You are taking care of students. You are taking care of your family here. You are getting your kids to sports. You are getting your kids to church. You are getting your kids to, like, everything they got to be in. And we are so fortunate that we can do that. But at the same time, when we are crazy busy, we create some exhaustion within ourselves because we don't have a lot of time to sharpen the saw. So today is a lot about sharpening the saw. So I am taking care of myself and I'm going to find ways to balance my time and become a better person and be open to the learning today. So while the balance the time thing, Mrs. Simpson and Ms. Haw kind of managed for you because we gave you a schedule... Um, I need you to stick to that schedule because if you stick to that schedule, you're probably going to have more free and available time today to prepare yourself to get ready for break than you've ever had before. That time is intentional. And so students, I'm making sure that your educators that are in your room with you today, I want them to have the time that they need to make sure that they're in the best place they can be when they walk out those doors at 2.30. And students, we are preparing activities for you today that get you in the best place you can be to walk out those doors at 2.30 and be the best person you can be over the next week. Now, let me say, we are going to miss you. If somebody hasn't told you that they love you today, I'm gonna to tell you right now, I love you and I love all of you, even though like sometimes, just as a mom or a teacher or a principal or anybody else, you get frustrated, you get tired, and you you restart each day. So I still care about you, I still love you, and I still want you to have the best break you can possibly be. So let's start out today by having the most fun we can be, definitely thinking win-win and being kind first no matter what, and then being open to the learning and practicing those habits together. I want you to look at that check sheet. I want you to go over it one more time with the teacher that you have in the room, and I want you to read those, and I want you to say, I am out loud because that shows some ownership in what you plan on doing today. We have some great activities outside if the weather permits. Otherwise, we have plan B to have them inside as well. So let's have some fun today. Let's remember as students in the building, we wanna help the people that are helping us. And as adults in the building, we wanna make sure that we have some fun with our kids today. Just like whatever they're doing, do it with them. Have some fun, allow yourself that moment to do so. Thank you so much, have a wonderful day. And um, I will be in there for as many activities as I can be. Miss Hall will be in there for as many activities as she can be. Um, I can't wait to see you guys, and I can't wait to have some fun with you today. And just in case I don't see you personally one-on-one, -on -one, every single one of you, I wish you the best spring break you could ever imagine.